Hi guys, I'm here at Energy Landia in Poland to check out their all new themed area, Sweet Valley. Now this only opened on Friday the 26th of April, uh, so it's literally been open for four days at this point. So let's go and explore, we'll do a full walk around, we'll get on some of the rides and just see how this new area fits in to Energy Landia. So Choco Chip Mining Co is their Vekoma mine train. I will come to that shortly because that is sort of the main attraction here, but we're going to have lots of eateries. It's all very bright and colourful, isn't it? Got a bit of a sort of Sesame Street vibe. So here we've got some ice cream. Yeah, it's very quiet up this end of the park. It's, a, it's actually quite a busy day here at Energylandia. So yeah, a lot of focus on eateries around this section. So I think this big building here is a theatre. They've got some shows on, it seems, at four o'clock this afternoon. Then up in front of us here is the Candy Carousel. Maybe the horse is made of candy, I don't know. And another of their eateries here the Hungry Hen. Let's have a quick look at there. That looks like a sort of create your own pasta type place. That's quite interesting. Twisties, which I'm guessing is a teacups ride of some description. I actually have no idea. Should we explore? I have no idea what this is or what's happening, but it's quite a cute queue line. Yeah, this is a teacups ride. It's also bright and colourful. My only concern would be whether or not they can keep all this colour up or whether it will fade over time. Especially when you get weather like this. They look good, don't they? Oh, maybe have some shakes later. I'm just walking around here and gathering ideas for food. I'm going to be stuffed. And there's Honey Harbour. So this is the second roller coaster. Also Vekoma, I believe, because this is basically Vekoma land here at Energylandia. But already, I don't know if you can see up there, there's like scuffing on the paintwork, a few cracks appearing, and this is like the second entrance point. Maybe could be doing better than that. But otherwise, I think it all looks really nice around here. Right, let's go ride some coasters. Sometimes you have to admire the simplicity of Energy Land. Here's a ride simply called Mini Tractor Ride. And then we have Crazy Barn. Oh, that's just one of those spinning ship type rides. Right, let's go find Choco Chip Creek. That's quite a cool little shed though. That's a little spinny ride where I guess you shoot the snails. Intriguing. So there are actually three different entrance points into Sweet Valley. Two of them head out into Aqualantis. And then the third is kind of at that meeting point between Sweet Valley and uh, Smogsigrod. So heading into Choco Chip Mining Co. Energy Land is new Vacoma mine train. Now seeing as this is Energy Land here, I fully expected this queue to be about a mile long. Quite like all the rock work and stuff in here though, they have made it feel like it is a, a mining company that I guess mines for chocolate chips. Gotta be honest, if I was gonna work in a mine, that'd be the one. Surely the equipment would melt the chocolate though. And we have a little bridge that goes over the track there. Oh, look at Zarda in the background. And we're 
getting down into the mines. Well, that was a bit random. I wasn't expecting a sort of lift pre-show. But yeah, this queue is epic. And now we have the lockers. So I'm guessing I have to dump the bag. So to use the lockers here at Energy Lander, you have to grab a wristband. These have gone up quite a bit. This has cost me 14 zloty. I'm sure they were about five last time. So that's just under three quid. Not a big fan of paid lockers, but I mean, that could be more expensive, I guess. Choco Chip Mine Chain was a really solid family coaster. At the back, all of the drops sort of yeeted you out of your seat, but then because it's not a full drop, you sort of go down and then bank around. You sort of just got a little bit of air and then was back down and sort of shuffled down again. The helices were really, really forceful though in places. I did notice there was a little bit of a shuffle on the train at the back, and there is a lot of incomplete theming elements as well, which is slightly disappointing to see because obviously this happened with Abyssus as well. So you'd hope they would have learned from that by now to have things ready for opening. But there we go, on the whole, really long coaster, really enjoyable, great for families. I think that's a really solid addition. It's different to anything else here really, which is a hard thing to do when you've got so many Vacoma roller coasters. So yeah, that was decent. And here we have the Choco Chip merch, including some sort of duffel bags, quite a lot of mugs, these are quite funky, these pop mania mugs. And then the t-shirt selection. See what, now all the uh, food spots have opened. It smells so sweet around here now. It is, uh, it's very tempting to grab a bite to eat, but Honey Harbour first, because we've got two coasters to do, and then maybe we'll go and check out some food. So heading into the queue for Honey Harbour, and this is another Vacoma kind of mine train type ride, but a much smaller one. And apparently there are honey geezers in the area. Jesus, they can be sticky. Well, apparently Honey Harbour includes a seal who gorges on honey. And there's a little alcove down there. How random.
Well, Honey Harbour was a pleasant surprise. You may have heard my reaction on the POV there. At the back, you really get pulled over that drop. And the first helix as well is really, really powerful. I was quite surprised by that because it looks like a really small coaster. Obviously, it's a small layout. It, it goes around twice, two lap special, uh, just to maximize your experience. It also means you get to experience that drop twice, which is really cool. But yeah, it is all about that first bit after that. It's a meandering family coaster. But yeah, surprisingly impressed by how forceful that is. So hmm, yeah, recommend that. And check out this funky phone box. Donuts, donuts everywhere. It's also really warm and stuffy in here. So these donuts I'd imagine would be quite unpleasant to eat. Well, Pop Mania has just about every ice lolly under the sun in there. What a selection. However, I don't think that's really gonna cut it for lunch. So let's find somewhere a little bit more substantial. Now this one's all about the smoothies. So despite saying I wanted something more substantial, I'm actually just gonna get a shake because they look really, really good. Well, look at this bad boy. I got myself a cream shake in the end. This came to 26 lottie, which is about five, or just over a fiver. Uh, looks pretty damn tasty though, so I'm gonna get it down me. So that's all from my tour around Sweet Valley here at Energylandia. This new area is not quite complete. There's still a few little finishing touches to be, uh, to be done, but I think it's a really good area. I've, I've managed to spend a couple of hours in there today, which I didn't necessarily expect from the rise they've got, but there's so much to kind of weave around and explore, so many, places to eat it smells really really nice in there and the two coasters are actually both really solid so yeah highly recommend coming to check it out uh, if you'd like to check out some other new stuff then i went to visit the wave at drayton manor last week um that's a really good coaster as well and well worth checking out so you can watch that video up on the screen now i'll catch you next time i'm off to explore energylandia and ride zadra <laughs>